Now, evacuation started today just north of Houston in the community of Conroe. That's where a Fox 23 news crew spent the night. Fox 23's Tiffany Alanese is live with the evacuations and rescues happening now. Tiffany. Shay, there have been hundreds of evacuations and they're happening right now. And here is a look at why. Take a look at this water. I'm literally about five feet off of the highway right now. And you can see the water is creeping up to the highway. And take a look at this. Businesses are underwater. That's Vernon's Country Catfish. It's been here 33 years, guys. It's underwater. Locals tell me they've never seen it like this anywhere even close. And for families who live here in Conroe, it's been a very long day. I was woke up at 2 a.m. Um, with police and fire at the door. Tammy well, Carroll evacuated oh, no. in the middle of the night. She can't believe her home may flood. Five years ago, I was in a flood in the woodlands. Um, and, and so I thought, here we go. Here we go again. And that was hard. I lost everything and had to completely start over. I was homeless for like 12 weeks. That memory still fresh, but she was on a mission to get her family to safety today. I have a daughter on dialysis. I had to go over by Lake Conroe and get her out of there because the roads were going to close. Her other daughter and husband own the fruit stand next to Vernon's. It's underwater and their home was also surrounded. There was water almost up to their door. My grandbaby was in there. So I got all everybody out into safety and finally got a hotel room about five o'clock. Tammy got what she could out of her home and she and her dog Daisy will ride out Harvey safely in a hotel. We're getting more rain and I, they're going to keep um, opening the dam, letting water out. Of course, they're having to open the dam to let water out to uh, preserve the integrity of the dam and to help with flooding. But this, unfortunately, is not the worst that they will see. This river, the San Jacinto, is not expected to crest until Wednesday night or Thursday morning. All new on Fox 23 News tonight at 6 o'clock. The emergency effort underway right now to help get these families out and what emergency responders are doing to make sure they stay alive. Reporting live in Conroe, covering news that matters. I'm Tiffany Alanis, Fox 23 News.